Hello DIY lovers and creatives. Let's get started on our crochet ribbed infinity scarf. We can go ahead and create our slip knot. Our slip knot is the foundation to our chain stitch. So we're just gonna make a loop. We're gonna insert our crochet hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through that little loop. And we're gonna do this until we get the desired length. So we yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So now I'm gonna skip two stitches, yarn over and go through that second stitch, chain stitch, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Yarn over, go to the next stitch, pull through, yarn over again through all three loops on the hook. And I'm gonna continue this sequence all the way till I get to the end of the stitch, the original chain stitch that is. Now I have come to the end of my first row. So here I'm finishing my last two half double crochet stitches. And I'm going to do two slip stitches at the end. One, two. And I'm gonna turn my work over. Oh, excuse me, allergies. Turn my work over. And now you can see where the ribs begin. Those little V's, those make up the ribs in this crochet scarf. So what you're gonna do is skip us one of those stitches yarn over and you're gonna do your double crochet stitch all over again so you're gonna yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over again pull your yarn through yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops on that crochet hook you're gonna continue this through the whole, throughout the whole scarf the whole pattern is repetitious the same stitch There you can see the V's or the ribs. That's my first one there. So that's technically my first row. And now I've completed the whole thing, <laughs> as you can see. Now I have it sandwiched together. I'm gonna to do a single crochet stitch, which is going to enclose the two edges to make it a full circle scarf. And as you can see, it lays pretty flat and in between I have these little holes I don't know the technical term for that I'm calling them holes that's where we'll be inserting our crochet hook through in order to enclose those two edges together so I'm gonna go through the fabric or the the, the crochet I don't even know what to call it <laughs> I'm gonna go through yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through and I'm gonna do that until I get to the end See, look there, I'm at the end. All right, so now I've come to the end of closing up the two ends on this scarf. I'm gonna go ahead and knot it at the end twice just to secure it and make sure it doesn't unravel or fall apart. You can knot it two or three times, whatever your preference is. I just did it twice. And now I'm gonna grab my crochet hook and just weave the end of the yarn through just to you know, hide it a bit. And I'm also going to cut it, grab my stock fray apply a dab to it on the end of the piece that I cut this is going to prevent it from fraying it's pretty good it works on a lot of different fabrics and it's good for yarn as well so just dab it in a little goes a long way that's all you need and I'm also going to do the same thing to the beginning stitch the intel of that from our original chain stitch I'm gonna weave it through cut it and grab my stock fray and dab a bit on there as well and this is going to hide the entails of the yarn. It's going to dry nicely. You won't be able to see it. And there's the end finished product of what it looks like from being weaved together. And here are the results. 
a crochet rib infinity scarf. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and useful to you. Please remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching again. Until next time. Later.